Today, we're talking about the Pixel 9 series and a glaring omission that's really disappointing. Google's latest flagships are packed with impressive features, but there's one area where they've fallen short. Let's dive in. Before we get into the Pixel 9, let's quickly revisit the Pixel 6 Pro. I was really excited about this phone after the Pixel 2 XL. It was supposed to be Google's comeback, but unfortunately, it was a major letdown. The connectivity issues were a nightmare. The battery life was abysmal, and that under-display fingerprint scanner, let's just say it was hit or miss, more often miss. Thankfully, Google has made some significant improvements with the Pixel 9 series. The new chipset is a step in the right direction, and the ultrasonic fingerprint scanner seems to be more reliable. Plus, the addition of the Exynos 5400 modem opens up possibilities for satellite connectivity and more. But here's the kicker. Google missed a golden opportunity to enhance wireless charging. The Pixel 9 series does asterisk, not asterisk, support the new Key 2 wireless charging standard. This is baffling considering Key 2 offers double the charging speed, up to 15 watt and improved efficiency, thanks to better coil alignment. Ironically, Google is releasing a new 45 watt charger for the Pixel 9 series, but it only charges at 27 watt. So you're paying for a faster charger, but you're not actually getting faster charging wirelessly. It's like buying a Ferrari and only being able to drive it at 50 miles per hour. Guy 2 isn't just about speed, it's about efficiency. When the coils are misaligned in older client chargers, you get heat loss, which can potentially shorten your battery's lifespan. Kai 2 solves this problem with its magnetic power profile, ensuring optimal coil alignment. Last year, there were strong rumors that the Pixel 9 series would support K2. After all, Google's own Liu Yang, a wireless charging expert, joined the wireless power consortium board. It seemed like a no-brainer, but alas, the rumors turned out to be false. As of now, there's only one Android phone on the market that supports K2, the HMV Skyline. You probably never heard of it, and that's understandable. It's a mid-range phone, but it's leading the charge when it comes to wireless charging technology. So what does this mean for the future? Well, there's a good chance that the Pixel 10 will finally support K2. With the improvements Google has made to the Pixel 9 series, it's reasonable to expect them to address this wireless charging oversight in the next generation. Until then, what can you do if you want faster wireless charging for your Pixel 9? Well, there might be some Keylight 2 compatible cases on the market that can help, but it's not an ideal solution. It's disappointing to see Google miss out on such a promising technology. Kai 2 is the future of wireless charging, and it's time for Google to catch up. Let me know your thoughts in the comments below. Do you think Google made a mistake by skipping Kai 2 on the Pixel 9? Let's keep the conversation going. Thanks for watching.